Hey guys, uh, in this last video, in the last video, we saw that, uh, you know, dirt car is a subclass of uh, car, right? And this car is the parent class, or in other words, also called as the super class. All right, so let's just uh, see what we can do with this. Um, specifically, I'm focusing on using the uh, super keyword. All right, let's get started. To make use of super keyword, uh, I'm going to create a constructor. Um, let's uh, create a constructor. So public and say car. All right. And then in this constructor, what I'm going to do is let's say let's pass in these arguments. Uh, double mileage comma int price comma and then int doors okay so these are our arguments uh, to the constructor now let's set the uh, variables this dot mileage is equal to mileage okay this dot uh, price is equal to price and this the doors is equal to doors that's it so now we have created a simple constructor that sets up the values now what i'm going to do for a dirt car is so let's create a constructor for our dirt car as well so i'm going to say public dirt car and in this dirt car let us accept um, just uh, wait a second let me move this up here and let's say int dirt terrain top speed let's accept that alone okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say super right and inside the super let us try to pass in those arguments within uh, the super method what are the arguments mileage price and doors let us pass in those arguments so let's say mileage and by the way uh, let's uh, go to our main and here you see new dirt car let's come to that but before uh, yeah so let's uh, just pass in the values for uh, our super method so double mileage right and then int price and then int doors and then we have this extra parameter int dirt terrain top speed all right so let's uh, pass in these arguments so if you notice it says you can pass in mileage which is a double you can pass in price which is an integer you can pass in doors which is again an integer so let's pass in all of these uh the mileage is where you know mileage is mileage right super for super mileage is going to be mileage price is going to be price and doors are going to be doors don't worry if you don't understand what's going on here and then i'm going to say this dot uh, dirty terrain speed equals dirty terrain top speed yeah so that's it so this is how we can make use of super keyword basically what the super keyword is doing is it's trying to call a constructor which is basically a super class for this dirt car class what do i mean basically this super keyword is calling this car constructor which is going to accept mileage price and doors all right and uh, let's see what we can do with this and here what I'm going to do in my main is I'm going to get rid of all the sets right all the set methods 
and I'm going to pass in whatever I need. So whatever I'm going to pass is mileage, you know, 20.5. Let's say mileage is 20.5 and uh, let's say price is 50K, right? And the number of doors would be six and the top dirty terrain speed, I, I don't even remember what exactly the name is, but however, it was let's say 50 miles per hour. Yeah, so it's a dirty terrain top speed. That's great. Now, if we try and run it, so we are going to get Dirty Benz's mileage, which is 20.5 and Dirty Benz's count is six. Benz's price is 50 grand, top speed is 50. And then we have Dirty Benz star, uh, Dirty Benz dot start dirt car method, which would say dirt car status is car started. So basically, in the previous video, we saw how we can use super keyword to call a method. And in this video, we are directly making use of the super keyword to call a constructor, which belongs to this constructors, this constructors parent, which is basically the cars constructor. So that is the basic idea. Don't be afraid of this uh, super keyword. All that super keyword is doing is it is referring to the parent and uh, the constructor. If you make use of super within the brackets, you pass in the arguments. It's basically trying to get to this and that's it. So far, I hope you have made so far you have understood, I guess. And if you did not understand, please uh, write a comment in which part you want a little bit of more explanation. Then maybe I'll try to help you out in that way as well. Have a great day. In the next video, we'll see a couple of um, other stuff as well.